Hey, what's up everybody? It's Debbie and I am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Here on my channel, I teach you guys how to make money on the side, doing like fetish content and OnlyFans and different things like that. If you guys are interested in learning more, make sure you guys check out my website. I will put it in the description box down below. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, welcome back. Thanks for supporting me. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, and it's also been long awaited, we are going to be going over foot poses that do not require your face. Now, in order to do this, I am going to not really be showing my face while I'm showing you guys these poses. That way you guys can get the full idea. Um, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you guys like some inspiration photos that I found off of like Pinterest and things like that and you guys can kind of get inspiration from that and make it your own. The thing about when you're doing foot poses that do not have your face in them is that you're very limited to what you can do like pose wise there's only so much that your feet can do and that's okay. It's up to you though to change your backgrounds and add things and spice up your photos so that they do not look repetitive and that your customers are getting different types of content. So that is what we're going to be going over today, you guys. I am super excited to be sharing this with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so when you are taking your photos without your face in them, most of your angle is going to be this way and maybe some from underneath or maybe some from underneath facing towards me but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just gonna show you guys like basic poses that do not include your face nor your body if you guys want poses that include your face that do not include your face but include your body I will be happy to do that as a video as well just let me know in the comments down below trying to figure out what you guys want which I want to see more of now my legs are a little hairy so please ignore that they're a little dry too but that's okay all right so starting off obviously this is going to be your most basic pose straight out or straight up now you can twist and turn your your feet different ways to give yourself different variations of this pose this is a personal favorite of mine um, you're gonna really be showing your soles yes my feet are dirty don't want to hear it um, you're gonna be showing your soles and your wrinkles and a lot of the tops of your feet as well as your legs so adding your nails you know your hands and your photos can really kind of adjust things and spice things up which you guys will see in some of the photos that I'm gonna show you later um, but you know you're gonna be doing a lot of like this or this maybe a little bit of both a little bit of flexing you know relax type thing um one of my favorite ways to spruce up pictures is to add ankle bracelets add items in your photos like maybe you're reading a book you know put your book and hold your book with your nails and your shoes your feet um another way to switch up your pictures is to add some nice heels or slides or something of that sort and then um i also love a good mirror all right and so you know you can keep your face out of it when you're um doing mirror photos but i like the mirror because you can adjust different ways flash helps to keep your face out of photos like so as you guys can tell i put my feet on here a lot and need to clean it that's okay um also depending on what angle you get you can show your soles as well as your foot so depending on what angles you're getting you can definitely show both um and then like i said adding ankle bracelets jewelry things like that twisting and turning your feet different ways are great ways to get different poses out of you know without showing your face because like i said you are limited to what you can do when you don't show your face so um these are pretty i like to especially if i'm not going to show my face i do like to show my legs because 
I think that it um, makes the photo look a little bit more intimate. Um, you can also do the flex soles. Things like that. So if I were going to be someone selling a set like this, some ways that I would um, switch up my photo would be like, oh, I'm reading a book, look at my feet type of thing, you know, like, and you can even like really zoom out if you need to. Um, you can do like the ultra wide lens or even just adjust your camera the other way. I can't do that because um, the angle that I need to get. So this would be a cute one. You can even just get the cover of what you're reading and that looks cute as well. Now also angles and lighting and change of scenery is going to be very important as well. So I'm gonna do a couple different poses and demonstrations for that as well. See when you add like shoes and different backgrounds, you can do the same poses. Sorry, I didn't put these on very tight. Um, you can do the same poses like over and over again. Lean back with your feet out type of pose is cute. That type of thing. The crisscross poses are cute. Also, if you kind of like dangle your shoes off of your feet, like they love that. So yeah, that'll get you guys started. As I mentioned before, there's only so much you can do when you're not showing your face. So it's really gonna be up to you guys to really elevate these poses. But I'm going to attach a couple different pose ideas here for you guys to look at and give you guys some inspiration and ideas. Ultimately, it's gonna be up to y'all at the end of the day to spice these things up and get creative with it. And that's part of what makes your clients want to buy from you is your personality and what you can bring to the table that's different than all the other book content creators. So also I would just like to add that these photos that I've added to this video for inspiration are not my photos. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any kind of way. These are just photos that I found on Pinterest and any credit should go to the creator of those photos. Also, if you guys want to support my content, make sure to subscribe to my OnlyFans and my Instagram, which I'll leave both links in the description box down below. Also, make sure to check out my website. I sell e-courses teaching you guys how to turn this into a side hustle. So, yeah. Yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. I hope that these poses helped you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.